The Predators have played two games on the regular season. They have a record of one and one, and they have two points, and that is the same amount that five other teams in the Central Division have. On the road, where the National Predators' next game will take place against the Boston Bruins, the Predators have a record of zero and one. The Predators have scored six goals on the season, and they have given up five goals against. Now, for the Nashville Predators, it's the first of two regular season meetings against their Eastern Conference Boston Bruins. They will not skate against each other again until damn near the end of the season. It won't happen until April the 2nd when the Boston Bruins come here to Nashville to face off against the Preds at Bridgestone Arena. In the meantime, the Nashville Predators, after wrapping up this one-game road trip in Boston, will come back home on Tuesday night to face off against the Edmonton Oilers. Then another one-game road trip back to New York to take on the Rangers at Madison Square Garden. And then, finally, some sustainability in the Predator schedule on the 21st of October at home against the Sharks, 24th against the Vancouver Canucks, and on the 28th again at home against the Toronto Maple Leafs. So the Preds finally get off this yo-yo of a schedule to begin the season so far so good with a one and one start now for the Boston Bruins they've only played one game on the season they have a record of 1-0 due to a 3-1 victory versus the Chicago Blackhawks Linus Allmark went 20-21 and got the victory and that took place on 10-11 that was opening night for the NHL now there aren't a lot of numbers or rankings at this point but Getting into the habit, getting into delivering it the style that we do in the format that we do. We'll go ahead and buzz through it really quickly. Now, for the Boston Bruins, they've only played one game. They scored three goals, so therefore they are scoring three goals per game. That is tied for 16th in the NHL. That's right. It's already got a ranking on it. The National Predators are also scoring three goals per game through two games. That is ranked 13th currently in the league. The Preds are giving up 2.50 goals per game. That is 12th overall in the NHL, while the Boston Bruins are giving up only one goal throughout their one game. Shots on goal are the same for each team. 33 apiece. Shots against the National Predators are giving up 28.5 per game. That's ninth best in the NHL so far through two games. Shots against four. Boston, 21. That is best overall. They've given up the least amount of shots overall in the NHL through their one game. The power play for for the Nashville Predators, 14.3 percent. Let's let's not start. Let's not start with the 14.3 percent. Let's let's get this bumped up a little bit. That's good for 13 through two games. They are only one out of seven, and they did fail to score on a five-on-three opportunity, a lengthy five-on-three opportunity. Uh, the Boston Bruins actually have a power play percentage of zero. They're 0 for three on the season, and uh, I. Don't expect it's going to stay that way for very long. The penalty kill for the National Predators, 71.4%. They've given up two power play goals against on the season. The Bruins, 100%. They've killed off all four shorthanded opportunities against them. When it comes to the stats through two games for the Nashville Predators, one quick note, forgot to mention injuries. Luke Shen is considered day-to-day -day with a lower body injury. Defenseman Shen for the Nashville Predators missed this game and also is expected to be out for at least the next couple of days. Now, on to the statistics. Yuso Parson in through two games, two goals. The only Nashville Predator with two goals on the board, no assists, two points overall. O'Reilly, new addition to the Nashville Predators, so far making himself very, very new noticeable in the lineup one goal one assist for two points and it's well beyond what he's putting up in points we'll talk about that a little bit later Nyquist gets his first goal as a national player had assist on that one he's got two points Forsberg's got two assists for two points and McDonough also with two assists for two points UC Soros through two games has a record of 101 of 2.05 goals against average and a .929 save percentage now in the first game for the Boston Bruins not surprising to see that Pasternak had two of their three goals Frederick had the other goal Lucic, Marshawn, Carlo, all with an assist on the season for one point. Linus Allmark is 1-0. and oh. He's only given up one goal on the season, and he was 20 out of 21. And, of course, one of the tops in the entirety of the NHL. Looking forward to this goaltending matchup between Linus Allmark and UC Saros. Uh, two of the best overall in the league, and two that could be competing uh, for many, many years to come in the Vezina Trophy category. So that's got you all set up for the Nashville Predators. First meeting of the season against the Boston Bruins. Second game already on the East Coast over in the Eastern Conference, this time against the Bruins. A tough building to go and play in and a very difficult team to play against. The Bruins 1-0. The Preds 1-1 early on the season. That's got you all set up for that game. Now we've got to go back. It was the home opener for the Nashville Predators. The Seattle Kraken are in town and the Nashville Predators Predators are already playing in their second game of the season. We got to recap that whole thing. We got to go into great detail about it. Got it coming up play by play, goal by goal, and every other detail that you need to know coming up on the Reverb Sports full game recap right after that.